YouTube, this is me Aisha and once again, like always, welcome to my channel. So today I want to share with you guys my hair. This is going to be the final review of my futuristic Peruvian curly hair. So to see my thoughts, stay tuned. Alright you guys, so this is going to be my final review of the futuristic Peruvian curly hair. I have been rocking these hair for quite a while. Um, let's say... So, um, probably for about three months, two or three months, I rocked this hair straight, okay? So, I installed the hair October 28th. I will have links to all my videos um, down below and also in this, in this um, video as well. Um, October 26th or 8th, um, I actually installed the hair, did the video on the hair, and I rocked that all the way to Christmas. Well, close to Christmas, it's like late, late December. And I love this hair. This hair was amazing. I gave it a break for a minute, you know, switched it out, you know, for um, New Year's. I wanted something straight and luxurious. And then I came back to it because it's just so easy. Um, as you guys see, I did color it. I want to just go ahead and add a little bit of color to it and change up the look a little bit. It was a natural black, like, you know, kind of like a number two. Um number one B2 because it is virgin hair so it comes in a natural brown and it is gorgeous it is beautiful beautiful now when I did receive the hair I did not receive it in these limbs I did cut this hair to um, style it um, it was actually in 2018 and 16 I believe and there is no closure this is my hair left out um, and blend it in I absolutely adore it adore it adore it this hair is easy beautiful I love it okay I have quite a few videos on this hair about how to blend it with your hair how I got it to blend naturally how I started even how I cut it so I'm gonna make sure please make sure you guys check those out so um, to achieve this look all I did was I did not bleach the hair I actually used this hair this is the L'Oreal Feria um, hair color, and this is in the color um, 100, which is very light blonde, very light natural blonde. Um, and I left it on the hour. All I did was kind of take tips of the hair and just put color all over the tips, and I left it on for about an hour with some foil on it, and this is what came out to be. I'm actually probably going to go back through this and put um, some bleach on the tips and get the tips a little bit more bright, especially for since the spring and summer is coming. But so far, I adore this hair. I adore it. It is beautiful. Um, I did not get a lot of shedding, you know, maybe when I detangle it, but I didn't get a lot of shedding when I detangled. It was a few things that I like to use. I don't have a picture of it or cause, because I'm completely out, but my favorite product to use on this hair... Um, I will co wash the hair, wash the hair, and I would like to use a Tressa Maze touchable, soft touchable, silken smooth conditioner. I like to leave that in the hair, and when it dry, it really dry with a really softness and divine, divine curl. Um, the hair is um, not super high maintenance if you're really trying. I probably really would co-wash once or twice a week, uh, and sometimes I'll go longer and then it will, it will swell. But other than that, a1. This hair is beautiful. I love it. I love it. As you guys see, I even came back to it. Um, it's just still nice and movable. Very nice and full. So, so cute. This is going to be perfect for the summer. I'm so happy, so happy, and so pleased with this hair. It gave me no problems, okay? Um, the curl is beautiful. It is, you know, it defines well. Um, it's just lovely hair, lovely hair, um, and to detangle wasn't always a big hassle, you know, I just made sure that um, I um, put that conditioner in it, had it wet, um, detangled, and another thing that I'm using now that really helped is a hair bean, okay, now I actually see a YouTuber here by the name of Yolanda Renee, she is a natural hair nista, and she loves it, she swears by this, so I got this for my daughter, because she is transitioning to natural, and also my nieces are natural, and I use this on my weave, and it really, really helps. It's better than a Denman brush. It actually is. It just really detangles the hair with ease without actually snatching out hair 
or you don't get that much shedding when you detangle with the hair beam versus any other type of hair tool. Okay, so yeah. All right, now um, I really don't know what else to say about the hair besides it's gorgeous. Um, it's beautiful. You guys should really check them out. Um, we all know spring and summer is coming and we pull out our curly hair, honey, because it's just easy, it's sexy, it's beautiful. Oh, I love this hair. I love it, I love it, I love it. So please check them out. If you guys have any more questions, please feel free to ask me. This is my honest opinion about this hair. You guys, I love this hair. This is going, I've had this hair since October. October, okay? I, have, I wore it to death. I wore it to death. I did. And I done pulled her back out and honey, she is still popping. She is still got it going on. She ain't lost a step. Do you hear me? She ain't lost a step. I even bumped her up a notch by adding the color to it. Okay? And she is fly. I'm feeling fly. I feel rejuvenated. I love this hair. It is so sexy, okay? I even throw it over in the face, honey. I'm doing it with this, okay? So, also, what else do I want to say? How the cap is made. I believe I have a video on that too. It is on a dome cap, I believe. Yes, it's a spandex dome cap. Um, I don't break girl the braids is out. I, it ain't even really down. I have combs installed here and I just put bobby pins on the edges, you know, because sometimes the combs irritate me. I just put bobby pins on the edges and in the back I have combs as well. So bobby pins on the edges and I have this, like, you know, my edges out. To blend, I just do a flat twist on my hair, and it's easy. I twist my hair in. Like I said, I have a video on how I do my blending and everything. It's very effortless, and this is a very good protective style. If you don't want to put heat on your hair, curly hair is the way to go. I don't put no heat on my hair. Um, nothing. I just go ahead, wet it, set it, you know, with some rod or some rollers. Do a flat twist on the edges, and overnight twist it in and I'm ready to go and this hair is fabulous honey it is fabulous like I said I remove this every night um you know because like I said curly hair can get matted laying on it you know if you were to have this in the sew in or if you were to make it a U part or any type of wig that you were going to go ahead and sew down to the perimeter perimeter of your head I would suggest maybe doing some twists or some French bread big plaits so when you do open it up in the morning, it's not just matted to you because laying on. So yes, it will be nappy. So like I always say, you guys, stay blessed, stay beautiful, always stay you. Thank you so much for your support. Check out futuristic hair.bigcartel.com. I'll have all the links below. Peace.